What's up, party people? All right, so there's a rule for battling cravings and not screwing up your diet. I call it the 30-minute rule. It saved me pff, ridiculous amounts of headache. And I just saved me this morning, so I, I'm making a video for you because I just want to tell you this before I forget, and uh, hopefully it helps. All right, so 30-minute rule is this. Now, let me preface this by saying there's something called the 10-minute rule that you've probably heard me talk about if you've followed me for any period of time. It's a good one. Works great, especially to get you to work out. Builds motivation. It's awesome. I made a whole video on it here on YouTube. If you search Josiah 10 minute rule, you can check it out. But the 30 minute rule is really specifically for your diet because I think diet and issues with eating are way bigger for most of you. At least I, they've been for me. For most of my life, I've been an emotional eater. When I'm happy, I want to eat. When I'm sad, I want to eat. When I'm depressed or tired, I want to eat. Uh, food has been a source of stress relief and happiness. Okay. Now that's not going anywhere. I'm still an emotional leader. I've accepted it. I've learned to use it to my advantage. And I've also learned that I can create rules for myself and rules are good. We always think rules are silly and they don't apply to us and rules are meant to be broken. You know, the whole, the whole nine yards. Um, but here's the deal. There's this rule. It's called the 30 minute rule. Rules give us some structure. And this one definitely has given me dietary structure. So let me get to the meat and potatoes. No pun intended. 30 minute rule is simply this. When I have a random craving or desire for food that is not on my diet, it's not a part of the plan that I set out to follow today. It's not a part of my nutrition structure. This hair on my phone. Sorry, I'm trying to move it. Hopefully it's not in the shot. Oh, well, if it is. Um, 30 minute rule is... I'm going to give it 30 minutes before I give in to the craving. If after 30 minutes, I still want the food that I'm craving, I'm going to find a way to eat it in a quantity that won't screw up my diet, or I'm going to make a healthier version of the food that I'm craving. Let me give you a, a real example that happened this morning. So I leave the gym. I did my morning movement, walked on the treadmill for 20 minutes, and uh, it's time, time to get after it for the day, right? And I have a really busy Monday. Mondays are just like super crazy for me. I have a podcast at 11, which is in literally 18 minutes. I have work calls. So I have meetings with my team, my marketing team. I have a meeting with my uh, COO at one. And then I have a call with my head coach um, who is coaching our clients. Then I got to go pick up my kids. And then before you know it, it's like five o'clock and I've basically been on calls all day. So I have this like already kind of like a, I don't want to call it stressful day because stress is a blessing. I'm very happy to have stress. I'll take this stress over not being busy for sure. But anyway, um, it's a busy day. So I leave the gym and I had this craving as I'm walking out the front door, like, man, I could really go for a Starbucks breakfast sandwich because <laughs> they're delicious. Let's just be real. And from time to time, I totally have some, I'm not going to lie. But today I woke up and I said, today I'm, I'm sticking to a very strict nutrition protocol because it's Thanksgiving week and I like to be able to enjoy Thanksgiving guilt-free. So what am I doing today? I'm fasting most of the day. I'm sticking to healthy, high protein meals later today. And that's it. It's like super simple. And the food I eat is going to taste amazing. Like there's no struggle. There's no hate of the food, but I had this craving. So I'm like, Oh man, I, the drive through is like two minutes away. Let me just go grab a sandwich. I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to screw up my diet not going to do that. So I have to have a rule and it, and the rule can't just be like, say no, like this isn't like dare say, you know, say no to drugs and just keep it moving. Like that's not going to work. We know that doesn't work. So I got to have a rule. Like, let me give it 30 minutes. So I looked at the clock and it was like 10, 15 at a podcast of 45 minutes. And I was like, what am I going to do? So let's, let's dive deeper into this. It's not just wait 30 minutes. And if the craving's still there, then it's a free for all. No, during that 30 minutes, I'm going to be productive. Okay. I'm going to be productive. I'm going to start working. And what do I do when I need to find productivity is I hop on a live video. I got on a live video on Facebook and I just shared what I'm going through and a bunch of people tuned in and we had a good discussion. And then I was like, I'm going to make a YouTube video because this is important. Like, I want to make sure people get this. This is the non-boring fitness stuff that people need to hear. Let's stop talking about calories and bicep curls and, you know, best exercises for chest. Like, yeah, that stuff's awesome. And I love it. And I'm a meathead just like you. And I freaking am addicted to learning about fitness. I've been that way for 25 years now. But man, this is the stuff that applies to life, right? Because we have a commitment. 
we have a game plan. And when we go off that game plan, we lose belief in ourselves. The problem is we're emotional creatures and our emotions run the day. Whether you know it or not, as smart as you are and as systemized as you are and as disciplined as you are, you got to emotionally buy into the things you're doing. Otherwise, your emotions will eventually take over. It's just part of life, dude. So we got to have rules. Um, and for me, this 30 minute rule is, is great because it gives me 30 minutes, right. To be productive. And here's what ends up happening. At the end of 30 minutes, 99% of the time, I don't care about the food anymore. I go, what craving? <laughs> what do you mean? Starbucks? Brett? What? I, I, no, I don't care about that anymore. I'm productive. I'm locked in. And by the way, I'm excited that I accomplished something. I said no to something and I'm, I'm in control right? I'm in control. Now, do I do other things like have a Celsius? Yeah, I have a Celsius, baby, right? Mm. Not sponsored by these guys. It just tastes really good. And they're like no calories, basically. There might be a couple calories, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, So I, I have a sparkling beverage. I get on live. I'm productive. I'm calling people. I'm texting people like, yo, like I want to take my mind off of food. And put that energy into something productive. And by the end of 30 minutes, I'm like, dude, I'm locked in again. I'm locked in, okay? This is how we crush our cravings. This is how we stick to our diet. I'm telling you, this stuff works. Don't believe me? Try it. At least try it, okay? Try it for yourself. Comment on this video after you try it. If it doesn't work, I'll give you all your money back. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this is free. This is free advice. But ultimately, this is the type of stuff that we get people locked in with. All right. So what's the next step here? Well, first of all, subscribe to this channel if this is the stuff you want to hear, because I need to know, is this helpful? Leave me a comment. Let me know if this is the kind of stuff that you want to hear more about. And um, how, you know, you can apply this to all parts of your life, guys. You know, if it's a work thing, if it's a family thing, like, and you're like, ah, I just don't feel like doing it. 30 minutes rule. 30 minute rule. This is, this is really nutrition based, but like the 10 minute rule is almost the same thing. 10 minute rule is do the thing you don't want to do that you know you need to do for 10 minutes before you quit. 30 minute rule is just basically get productive, get your mind off of food for 30 minutes. And then if you still have that craving, and by the way, I'm going to give credit where credit's due. I believe I learned this from my friend, Jordan Syatt. I don't want to steal an idea and say, this is my idea. Um, I want to say, and I could be wrong, but I want to make sure I give credit because in my head, I think, I think he might call it the 20 minute rule or something. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's all the same, but I think it's something I learned from him. doesn't matter. I just want to give credit to a great guy in Jordan. He's awesome. Um, and if he's watching this dude, thank you so much. I'm, I'm sharing the love with, with my people, but, um, I will tell you it works for me. Okay. Whether or not it were, whether or not you use it and you take advantage of it, it really works for me. So give it a shot, beat your cravings in 30 minutes and uh, stick to your diet. All right. You'll thank yourself and you'll, you'll feel like a freaking winner because you are one uh, and life moves fast. So go make it count. All right. Talk to you soon. Peace.